So, England in the World T20 final against the West Indies. What are your thoughts? Obviously, they've now got a brilliant chance of winning the comp. Absolutely fantastic. I think at the start of the tournament, they certainly weren't a favourite. Um, but I went on record as saying they're one of the most dangerous sides. And if they play well enough, then they could go all the way. Now they're just one win away from lifting that trophy, which would be absolutely brilliant. Not just for that England team, but for the whole of England. You, you know what it's like to play in a World Cup final, 1992 in Melbourne. What is it? Do you have to go in there and just try and treat it like any other game? Yeah, you do. You've got to try and replicate um, the type of form you've shown that's got you there. You know, Jason Roy, for example, we're hugely biased being here at Surrey at the Kia Oval. And um, if he can go out there and reproduce his performance or even better it that he showed in that semi-final, that will go a long way to England winning it. So, yeah, you try and treat it as just another game. Um, but to be honest, you know, it won't be. It will be what, close on 100,000 people, as you think, of Eden Gardens. The build-up to it, the media, speculation, a number of messages they're going to be receiving from fans and family and friends, etc. So it's going to be huge, but some are just going to bring your heart rate down when you go out there to bat, when you go out there to bowl, when the ball's in the air, you've got to catch it because it's still bat against ball. Let, let's talk about Jason. There's been some great headlines. Roy of the Overs, I saw somewhere. Fantastic innings for him, wasn't it, in the semi-final? We know what he can do, but it was fantastic to see him do it on the world stage. Exactly, and that is a thing. For the last two or three years, he's dominated domestic T20, so we've seen the very best of him. Um, but we're now seeing it on the international stage as well, and he'll just get better and better. Um, but what's really pleased me, he got England into a winning position when they beat South Africa. Joe Root saw it over the line, obviously. That got his confidence up. And then when it really mattered in that semi-final, he absolutely dominated it. But not only is it good for him in 2020 cricket, I seriously believe he now has the ability to go on and play all forms of international cricket for England. We've seen it in 50 overs, we've seen it in 2020. I now want to see him do it on test, uh, in the test arena, and I know he wants to do it too. Yeah, that, that, he's said that, hasn't he? And I've seen you say that as well, but I know that he wants to play test match cricket, doesn't he? Yep, and if he keeps putting in performances like that, then the selectors, the coaches will be saying, yeah, this lad can do it. You know, can he get in at number four, five or six in, in the test arena over the next 12 months? That's got to be his challenge. You know, obviously he'll be looking to get in for perhaps a first test match. But if he starts off well with Surrey in Red Bull cricket, he'll then ask questions of those selectors. And the other thing is, he's such a lovely lad that that whole dressing room in there, Surrey players are just so pleased for him, aren't they? Everyone is just so so proud of him and as pleased as punch with how he's played. Oh, they are. We were all sat there watching, you know. The, the coach, he's just turned up and he, he was glued to it. He wanted to see how one of his players was going. Rory Burns, he went for a haircut and literally <laughs> said to the barber, I've, you've got to have done this because I've got to get back to see my mate back. So he had, uh, well, a dodgy haircut, but it's all done now. Um, but yeah, it was. It, it's just grabbed, it's grabbed the public, but it certainly grabbed our dressing room. And final question for you, what, what would it mean do you think to the country to see, well, obviously they did it in 2010, but what would it mean for cricket and, and for the country to see them actually lift the trophy on Sunday? Obviously when England play at any sport, then you want them to win, but to now have a chance of winning on the world stage is something huge. Um, you know, the West Indies have really walloped England in that opening game, but uh, revenge is pretty good. Uh, but more importantly, if England play like they have done, how they did in that semi-final, there's no reason why they can't lift the trophy.